Hello there, so after yesterday's video I thought we'd need something a bit more cheery and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use any of your broken pieces. Well, I guess I don't have all of the different types of broken pieces as Lego have thousands of different pieces and I've only got a few that are broken. In fact, I've nearly sorted my entire Lego collection. This is the only part I have left to sort and as you can see, there's only a few different little pieces and I doubt any of these are actually broken. I've sifted through them quite quickly and there's nothing in here that seems too broken at least, perhaps the odd crack. But I store all of my broken pieces just in the unit behind me and as you can see there's not that many in here. This is a small official Lego storage tub. This is how small they used to do them before they got the giant bricks which are a lot more helpful for storing Lego. And there's only, I'd say, not even a handful of pieces. A lot of these are just miniature cracks. But this is every piece that has broken over the last 15 plus years of me collecting Lego. Which, honestly, is not bad at all. The only minifigure cracks that I've seen, as that question gets asked quite a bit too, is on the sides of my original clones. Does this one have it? This one does. So as you can see down the right hand side of... Pretty much all my Clone Wars clones, I don't think the camera's picking it up. There you go, you can slightly see the crack better now. But besides a few cracks on my Clone Wars torsos, again, it's not on all of them. It's just quite common across them, so it must have been a difference with the moulds at the time. None of my minifigures are cracked. All of my Star Wars name characters are over there, plated down on official Lego plates. None of them have cracked legs. I don't know how I've got so lucky, but perhaps it is because I am plating down. I had a conversation in the comments. Perhaps that is why none of the legs are cracking, because I so often have them plated down, removed into a mock, plated down in the mock, then back on display. The Lego is really made for play and not display, but it's a very interesting point. I'd love to get Lego's side on that and why minifigures that are used more tend not to crack yet. My Clone Wars characters that honestly I don't really use phase one. So the ones that are standing there on a shelf collecting dust are the ones that crack first. But anyway, let's get on to this video and I can show you just how to use all of your broken Lego pieces. So again, as you can see, this is every single one of my broken Lego pieces for, well, just over 15 years. I've been collecting Lego 15 years as of January, I think, more or less. And these are all of the broken pieces. I mean, if we get all of the clip pieces to one side, I can guarantee right now that most of these are going to be just in them clip pieces. And the other ones will be a bit more interesting to look at as half of these clip pieces can even still be used the same way after missing a piece or two especially some of these droid arms which would look great on a clone wars battlefield but this is all of the clip pieces to the left we'll get onto that in a minute that one's pretty straightforward these are the more interesting pieces as a lot of these pieces are well actually most of them are one by two plates now i'm not quite sure what's exactly wrong with most of these but I'm willing to bet that the 1x2 plates just have a crack in them. There we go, on the white one on top. A crack in them, which means that they don't stick to each other too well and are quite easy to pull apart. But as you can see, it's just a very, very slight crack. You can barely see it on the white. But all that means is the clutch power is heavily reduced as unless it's really boxed in by other plates, it's not going to have the same strength as another plate. So realistically these could just go straight back into my boxes probably on a separate stack just so i don't try and hinge too much on them as they still clip into each other i'm pretty sure all of these have some sort of crack on one of their sides but they all still work as a one by two plate just as long as they're not used alone and i guess they might pose a threat to some of the other bricks around them but i don't see them doing too much damage so I'll probably just whack these back in my drawer. It's crazy that only five of these have had the crack down the side. Perhaps as these are in pairs, these are some of the earlier Lego sets that I might have not treated with as much caution as I currently do. Now, this one is a bit of a problematic piece. What you can see here is a Technic connector 
One of the axle joints is fine, but again, in my youth, I probably put too much pressure on this, snap this top bit open, and side that is still connected is bent. You can see that is not holding on too well. So what I'd probably make use of this piece for is if there is a framework in Technic that has multiple of these connectors used, and you just need one to sort of fill the gap. The pressure's being put on the other few, and there's not too much relying on this piece. You could still make use of it there, but you can also make use of this for some sort of rubbish scene in a Lego diorama. So if you have a giant garbage bin, we'll even take this arm for instance. These are pieces that can't be used for their original purpose. This Technic piece, this must have a crack somewhere, but this isn't quite noticeable. I mean, this might even have mistakenly found it in, but you can get a few of your broken pieces and there you go, there's some rubbish. You don't have to use a bunch of studs or anything. A load of Lego mocks recently like to include pieces like this out of system, just whacked in a build. And I'm not sure if there's any useless pieces over here. I guess the legs aren't much good if they can't connect. You whack them in a pile. Look out for my next mock. I'm going to include these in my next mock as some sort of rubbish bin and... Hopefully they fit in, otherwise it might be quite an nice eyesore, but I'm sure I'll get them to work. Going back to the cracks on pieces, we have these cheese slopes here, which do both have cracks up the middle. Again, much like these 1x2s, these can still actually be used as long as there are bricks either side of them. Because all the crack does is when there's too much pressure on them, I think actually this orange one was from my old Republic playset. So all that's happened is too much pressure has been put on the front of it, the nose of it has pressed it in and the stud has started to split this shorter end here. But as I said, as long as it's included next to a brick or a plate, it's going to keep that crack closed and it's still going to hold down because it's closing that gap from the crack. Now, this brick, if I remember correctly, has quite a considerable crack on the side up this side. Because this is how I found out that cones should not enter bricks. And let me go on to show you what I mean. So first off, if you are squeamish about Lego being broken, do look away because you are not going to find this next connection very satisfying. But what happens with a cone, it's a legal technique. I have done a few videos on them now. But what happens is as the cone gets pushed into the brick, you can see the crack is starting to open up. And I'm not quite sure if my camera is getting this very well. But again, it's the only camera I have, so it'll have to work. As you can see, when the cone is pulled out, you can barely even see the crack. But as soon as you start pushing the cone in, it's starting to spread apart that brick. And the more you push, the more it splits open. And ultimately, that is how I found out it was an illegal technique. Because what you're meant to do instead is actually get a stud to put between them and to protect the brick. But... These studs wouldn't work as well because they are in the pearl dark gold. I actually have no idea what color this is. I have mentioned this in one of my videos around the time I was sorting these out. But it's a very fragile gold piece. Again, the studs still work fine. So the answer to how you can use most of these is actually just as the piece is intended. I mean, even... Even this one by eight, you can see we've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half studs. It's got a crack. This is from my old Republic playset. I didn't drop it or anything. It's just a fragile color. Just thankfully not too fragile because it's the only dark red piece in my collection that has broken today. And if I ever am making some sort of fight scene or something and need a broken piece, a little burn edge, this is going to be great to use in that mock because it's got that destroyed Lego piece without actually having to physically destroy it, any of my Lego pieces. So again, it's a straightforward answer, but something that many of you may not consider. If you have a broken piece, whack them away. If you ever need some sort of battle scarred Lego scene, bring out all your broken pieces. Use them all. Use this. You can use the odd broken Technic piece to be a pipe hanging off. I've even got this bar that has been bent. There's some considerable force from little me to bend this piece. I don't think I've had a piece bend since, but I guess you're not exactly trying to bend lightsabers. But as you can see, not only could it be used as some sort of practice hockey stick, it can be used for said bent bar that 
this piece does clip too and suddenly you've got a broken pipe or something that is spewing out who knows what and I'm definitely going to be using these in some sort of battle scarred mock so definitely keep an eye out from that and once you know where them pieces are I'm sure you'll be able to spot them pretty easily. Now back to this Technic piece I don't think this does have any sort of cracks I'm putting a little pressure on to see if there is a crack and no there is there is no cracks here both of the hinges seem to be fine I think this is a misplaced piece so I'm not going to include that and for the other two this is a cracked piece these are prone to cracking apparently but this is the only one I found when someone told me that these are a lot looser than the other ones and are prone to cracking I went through my whole collection and this one definitely has a small crack in there but when there's no ball joint you can't really see it if you've got any loose connections again this can be used so I guess we've got two different poles here really well three if you include all of the hinges we've got on the left we've got pieces that can't be used as intended and uh, exclusively for some sort of broken mock work then we have pieces that can be used as intended but not relied on you can't use these to try and attach anything through clutch power or keep any of your ball joints working as they should and likewise with this snot brick we've got this whole bottom bit cracked which is crazy to see i guess it is quite fragile if you put too much pressure on which snot bricks do tend to take quite a lot of pressure but still if you're using that in a bunch of bricks as long as you're keeping that cracked portion shut with any of these even with the studs they might have a little chip on them but they're still mostly rounded at the bottom they've still got most of the circle to enable that clutch power just not as much as if they had the full bottom of the stud so these are still all very much usable i might not whack them straight in with their other pieces but if i ever need an extra one by two for instance i know where to look now looking at all the clip pieces because i feel like this video is going on quite some time for a few of my simple answers all of these one by twos that you can see have a little bit snapped off again they can be used just as the double clip pieces the only difference is they won't be as strong as the others in fact this one hasn't even snapped off fully this one's just hanging on by a thread these are all fine i'm sure you know how to use your clip pieces even the flag you can see it has one of the clip pieces still on top it's going to work as a flag it's only when both of them are snapped off i don't know how both of these snap off but it's only when both of these snap off that it does become a big problem this piece is almost unusable until you might recognize the shape as a little bit these look like coat hangers now let's get another closer image because these will be the perfect piece for coat hangers i am not telling you to go break a bunch of your lego hinges but look at that that is the perfect lego coat hanger you could definitely get a cape or something even like a hood on one of these so i'm going to use these as coat hangers in a mock in the future and that goes for all of the other single clip pieces that are broken perhaps you have three coat hangers in your room well there you go three clips and suddenly you've got all the coat hangers you need now the other difficult ones are the one by ones that have broken this one is only cracked so it doesn't look too bad but you can't really use it for any clips this is going to be a decorational piece you can see these used on sets like the recent midi scout malevolence and honestly that is the only thing you can use these for so that's not very helpful but yeah you can only really use these for decoration and similarly for the droid arms they're not going to be able to hold anything but you've still got that one good clip that you can clip to a droid body and they're still functional to some extent even if they've got a crack in one side just flip them over you're not really going to tell from looking too far away the only other piece we've got in this whole pile of blurry clip pieces that i haven't covered are these other side leak clips which once again if you've got a few you can still definitely use as coat hooks but personally i'd whack these in the destruction pile for any broken pieces you might need to use perhaps that's where the bar has snapped off at and if you include a fixed clip further down it's going to look pretty cool in a mock so definitely keep your eyes out for when i do decide to use all of these broken pieces i mean i can't say i'll use them all in the same mock but i'll definitely try to cram as many of these into perhaps even the next bad batch mock keep an eye out on wednesday in two days time for the new bad batch mock that's coming out which is actually going to have two mocks which 
makes it so much easier to include some of these broken pipe pieces and definitely all of these unreliable pieces but there you go hopefully you now know how you can use some of your broken pieces if you have some broken pieces that you really are puzzling for that don't fit into any of these categories they can't be used as they once were they don't look good like coat hangers they're not droid arms or perhaps you've even snapped off two sides of droid arms which honestly that is a real puzzling piece i'm not really quite sure how you could use that because i don't think there's any other legal connections they don't work as broken pieces because as i said they don't have a connector point or they're not just little cracks that can be fixed definitely let me know by commenting down below and of course if you found any of these techniques useful perhaps i've saved a few lego pieces from being thrown away in your collection definitely drop a like on this video and subscribe for more awesome lego content and as always may the bricks be with you